our study was designed under the hypothesis that reduction of serum urate levels will have a positive impact on blood pressure and uh, several implications of this uh, so the question of whether just lowering urate in patients with asymptomatic hyperuricemia would be beneficial from cardiovascular outcomes starting with hypertension second uh, probably a more clinically relevant thing for the future in patients with gout that have hyperuricemia almost, almost by definition, whether a comprehensive approach, including a very uh, effective serum urate lowering, would have uh, an a positive effect on cardiovascular outcomes. So the, there are uh, a precedent for what we did. Uh, there are studies in pediatric population, and uh, there are uh, animal data by Richard Johnson and his group in Denver, and there are epidemiological clinical studies supporting the concept that there is an association between uh, serum urate levels and, and hypertension. By decreasing uh, serum urate with allopurinol, we failed to demonstrate that there was a significant impact in blood pressure. We found in our, uh, in our secondary outcomes that there was a significant positive impact in endothelial function, measured as flow mediated dilation, but this didn't, did, did not translate into blood pressure reductions. Uh, the, why this happened? Probably because the population we selected didn't have a serum urate which was high enough, or they were very poss possibly too young. Uh, or the blood pressure at the, at the moment, at the moment they, they started the intervention was not high enough to see a significant reduction, so we probably had a floor effect. You did see a suggestion that there were some responders, subgroup responders mm. in your population? There were responders, and, and we tried to identify uh, what, uh, w what predicted a good response. We could not find a clear factor uh, that, 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 that told, told us, oh, these are the people that are going to respond. There was a trend towards a response in those participants which had a higher serum urate at enrollment. So more than 6 or 6.5 at enrollment, they tend to decrease the blood pressure more, but the effect was overall, although there was a trend, it was not significant. We, uh, we cannot conclude after our study that, that this is something that is indicated at the moment, but I think that a, a future study that is multicentric, more powerful, aiming at the subgroups that we thought were the most likely to respond, older participants, higher serum urate at enrollment, higher blood pressure at the, at the beginning of the intervention is the most likely to have a, a positive response with this approach. And for the time being, you're going to stick with allopurinol as the intervention? Um, I think it could be any agent with lower serum urate. Uh, the, the, uh, we chose allopurinol because of, uh, the, of our budgetary issues, uh, but it could be fevoxostat, it could be, uh, 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 it could be uh, an, an agent that works on excretion. This has been shown to, to also happen probably with provenicid. Uh, so it doesn't have to be allopurinol, although there are some questions about whether something oxidase, something oxidase inhibition or just serum urate reduction is the key to, to have a positive effect using urate lowering therapies. Endothelial function is, is widely viewed as a surrogate marker for uh, cardiovascular outcomes. Uh, there is a positive association published widely. So we, know, we saw actually that allopurinol, despite not decreasing blood pressure, significantly improved endothelial function in, in the participants that at, at the end of the allopurinol phase. And, uh, and it was, uh, it was uh, uh, when comparing the responses between the allopurinol phase and the placebo phase, the, res the positive response in endothelial function during the allopurinol phase was marked. The problem is that endothelial function is not a clinical endpoint. Yes. It's, a, it's a mechanistic and, uh, study. Yes. So uh, we were hoping that we were going to see reductions in blood pressure, and this was going to, to, to be explained by effects of, of, uh, of serum urate lowering in the endothelium. We saw the effect on the endothelium. We didn't see the blood pressure response, probably because of the population we selected. Uh, we didn't see an effect on inflammation. So our, what we have learned from this study is that possibly there is not a significant effect through inflammation. There is a significant effect on the endothelium. It's just a matter of finding the right population to see the blood pressure reduction effect.